Hi, I'm Chris and welcome back to Get Good at Golf. Today we're going to talk about how to pure your irons from the fairway. So one big thing that I see from most amateurs is setup and where they get their body position. A lot of people have just hit a driver, they come into the fairway and very much they're in the same kind of setup. Ball position sneaks forwards, body is angled back. From there, we're going to hit all kinds of shots. So we're going to hit some that fall out to the right. If I don't transfer my weight, it's going to stay wide open. I'm going to hit that 60 yards right. The opposite then, I'm going to fall back. My hands are going to catch up. We're going to close that face down and I'm going to hit one straight to the left. So from setup, what we want to see is when we bring our iron in, when we set our club, we then build our stance. We want that sternum to be over the ball. With an iron, we're encouraging to get a downward hit into the ball. So if anything, during the motion, we want to get that a little bit ahead of the ball when we come into impact. If I'm set behind here, a lot of people will move off a little bit more and then sway. So they'll sway away, then slide through the ball. We're then going to hit all kinds of different shots because the low point's going to change. So once I'm in with the club, set the club, build the stance, and then my sternum is not going to fall back here. From there, I'm going to be able to make a nice solid swing, get to my finish, and be nicely in balance. And we're straight at the flag again. So, second point we want to talk about, you will see from down the line, you will see that a lot of people get into the position. If you are a fader of the ball, if you do hit a big slice with all your clubs, including your driver, you might be somebody who sets up, this right arm is out here, and we can see that my arms are already angled to the left. They're already angled way left there. That's gonna encourage me to bring the club out and from there, I have to either reroute and get it onto line, or I'm going to swing straight across that club from those arms. It's going to come out here. I'm going to cross that ball. Very much a glancing blow, and that's going to fade. It's not going to get the distance. It's going to be very hard to be consistent. So one check we can do after we've built our stance, the club comes in, we build the feet, we make sure that we're not angled back. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that these arms are square to my target. So from down the line, if you're looking, if you filmed yourself up from down the line, we should have your arms parallel to your target. They shouldn't be pointing left. They also shouldn't be pointing right. And then we're going to be able to be consistent with where our club path is going to go and where that ball is going to start. Again, a nice solid strike in balance with a little draw because the path and face were very neutral from getting those arms aligned. James is going to come in now. He's going to finish this video off with talking what you want to see when you're coming into impact. James, over to you. Thank you, Christopher. So some great points from Chris there about how to strike your irons. And the third and final point of this video looks more on impact than setup. If you don't set up correctly at the golf ball, then you're more than likely going to make a mess of the golf shot. You're not going to strike your irons well, and you're going to be in a world of pain, especially when you've smashed your drive down the fairway like we have done here. You've done a lot of the hard work for the hole, but you need to make sure you get that iron to the green. And to do that, you need to know how far it's going to go and what direction it's going to set off in. So. Regards to how far it's going to go, we need to make sure we know not only what loft club we're using, we all know that, so this is a six iron, but we also need to know dynamically what that loft is going to do. So rather than loading up to the top of the backswing, hanging backwards and adding loft to this club, that's going to give you a whole host of disasters. We need to make sure that from the top of the backswing, we rotate into that left side, the weight's on the left side, the hip has moved backwards, and you'll see that I've got an iron down here as a checkpoint. I want the handle in front of that while the club is still behind it. That's creating what we call forward shaft lean. That's going to deal off that club dynamically. It's going to make it set off a little bit lower and it should be a more powerful golf shot. And it's going to make sure it's a straighter golf shot as well. If this club face is rotating too much, it's too hard to get this right every single time. But if we rotate and get the handle forward, then the handle is in charge of the club head. If you imagine a car towing a trailer around a corner, as long as that trailer stays behind the car at all times, the trailer being the club head, the car being the handle of the club, then the trailer is never in danger. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Load up to the top, allow the trailer to stay behind the car, and we'll get round that corner with ease. Like that. Guys, there are three simple tips to make sure that you strike your irons better every single time. I've been James, that was Chris, this is Get Good at Golf, and we'll see you tomorrow.